So today we will be um, discussing a Bollinger Band strategy. Just produce returns like these. That's Apple, and this one's Amazon, HD, uh, Johnson and Johnson, Walmart, Microsoft, Tesla. Doesn't perform that well in Tesla, but that happens. Uh, Visa, Procter and Gamble. So some of these examples. Uh, anyways, we'll start with the coding. Uh, the entire code is available in the description if you want to download it, the link is available. So what I want you to do is essentially um, click on open and then click on strategy and whatever default thing that comes in, just delete it off. We'll start from plain blank. So first we need to do version equal to five. So that'll be at the rate versions. Normally we do in version four. Version five is available in the full tutorial. It's available in the description box. I'll give a link there as well. Uh, so basically we just do a strategy and then let's call it the uh, BB strategy overlay equals true. And then uh, we need to get the values of the Bollinger Band. So we can use the built-in function of the Bollinger Band, which is BB. So TA.BB will retrieve the values of that. And then I want to get the values of the series that I'm looking for. So the Bollinger Band series I'm looking for is basically, I'm just gonna close this, um, these closing prices. So uh, I'm gonna make a small change in those things, but I'll come back to that in a bit. So the number of days of the period that I'm doing is 10 and the standard deviation is two. Now we'll get the upper value, the middle value, and the lower value of the Bollinger Band. So I need to store that somewhere. So I'm gonna create an array. So if I can just go there like that and then click on Command plus click if you're on a Mac or if you're on a PC, Control plus click, you'll basically get that it's a middle, upper, and lower. Um, so I'm gonna store this value to middle, upper, comma, lower. So we're already gonna use the lower values so um, now to the trading condition. So if close of one is less than lower, so which we are below the two standard deviation and close is greater than TA.SMA, uh, close comma 200. Um, so TA.SMA is a moving average. So if you can see now these values number 10 and the close of one, that is yesterday's close, not, uh, I mean, the day before's close, uh, not yesterday's close, two days prior's close. So those are values that I received by optimizing uh, different values. So by optimizing, what I mean is I take yesterday's values, day before yesterday's values, three, four, five, six days values, and try out different strategies to see uh, which one works better. So that's essentially called optimization. So optimization is just not enough. We need to do um, forward testing as well. So what we're doing essentially is back testing. We need to uh, test that optimized value into an untested data. So that's called forward testing, which is also used in YouTube and you probably this video is recommended to you because of forward testing by YouTube. YouTube has seen that you normally watch these kind of videos. So it kind of recommends you this video. And when it recommends this, this video, it's kind of like confirmation that their recommendation is correct. And once those both are done, then we do a Monte Carlo simulation. So once all these three things are done, then we finally do a portfolio uh, optimization. So basically we do all these strategies on multiple thousands of stocks over 20 plus years. And then we confirm whether the strategy is ideal or not to apply on stock. So there are better numbers as compared to 10 and there are better closes compared to uh, two days prior. You can have three days prior, four days prior, but I'm not gonna give away lots of information. Um, you can also try a different EMA. You can optimize yourself by changing these values, but you won't get far because there are lots of permutations and combinations with respect to it. But if you wanna learn more about optimization, forward testing and Monte Carlo simulation, there's a course available, um, Quant Program website. I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, these are the prices for our course as well. So the Prometheus program comes with uh, 10 strategies and basically covers everything that you need to become a quantitative trader. So 10 strategies kind of uh, gives you the solid foundation to create strategies yourself. And then obviously the other tools that the quantitative trader uses like optimization and what COVID analysis helps you better. Uh, so now it's basically just click on tab and then do strategy.enter entry uh, long comma strategy dot long. So that will enter the strategy. Now, what about our exit condition? So exit condition is really, really crucial. 
so what I'm gonna do is rather than having a strict exit what I'll do is basically I'll just give like a forest to one risk management so I'm just gonna declare the values we've, di we've discussed this before in our other strategies which can be found uh, in our YouTube channel uh, the thorough discussion of a thorough discussion of the stop loss and take profit can be found uh, in again on a YouTube channel which specifically says creating stop loss and also creating trailing stop loss as well um, so we'll just click on enter there and then we'll just code the long stop and long profit because we're only going long only strategy so for stocks it's ideal just to go long only um, for commodities we can actually do long and short but stock because there's more profit potential to the upside uh, as compared to the downside downside the maximum profit you can make is 100 percent but the upside you can make a lot of profit so fundamentally you have an edge and then if you're investing in companies which are robust you have even an addi additional edge as well uh, so long stop would be equal to strategy dot position underscore average underscore price and asterisk one minus sl so basically this strategy this one gives the average value of what you entered in the position and then it calculates the stop loss a long stop will give the stop loss value so similarly we can do uh, take profit as well so i'm going to copy the entire of this just going to paste this here and then we can do long profit so instead of this we'll do one plus take profit because take profit is on the upside so now we've stored both values of the stop and the uh, take profit. Now we need to exit the position, right? So we don't want to um, give our exit signal if the position is, clo uh, position is closed. So we need the exit condition only when the position is entered. So we need to confirm that. So if strategy dot position, spell it wrong, position underscore size, so that'll return if the, there's a position, so if there's a plus one, there's a size, is greater than zero. So when we're long, it will be um, plus one, then tab. Then strategy dot exit. So the thing that we have ended was um, long position, right? So we need to give an ID to it. So what I'll do is ID equals close. So it kind of writes there as close. And then stop equals long stop and then limit equals long profit so the entire code is available in the description i'll give a link so you just have to enter the email address and it will be sent to your email so i hope this strategy goes through but we're just going to double check everything if it's correct um version five if close is lower ta strategy or entry stop loss long stop take profit everything looks okay so i'm going to save this yeah, I'll save that and I will add this to the chart so now you can see the percentage is zero the drawdowns are also zero so these numbers are quite wrong so what you need to do is you need to go to the setting section and you need to change it to 100% equity so you can see the order size is one contract so there's nothing wrong with one contract the problem is initial capital so the returns, like let's say you bought stock for $10 and sold it for $20. So you basically made 100% return, but that 100% return is compared to 1 million. Uh, so that 100% return here was just $10. So $10 compared to 1 million is a tiny, tiny, it's like 0.0001%. So it doesn't hold any value. So what we need to do is we need to change this to 100% equity. And then basically you get the correct value. So ignore the dollar term. So that is not correct but the percentage terms is always correct so you can change this to let's say 10,000 so I'm gonna delete a few zeros here like 10,000 and the value barely changes the dollar terms will change the percentage change slightly changes because of rounding of the numbers uh, and that's why the uh, percentage change have changed slightly uh, but the only thing you need to focus is on the net profit percentage the percentage profitable and the drawdown percentage ignore the dollar values so dollar values is based on that initial capital so even if i do 1000 basically still i get somewhere around 1800 percentage uh, so hopefully you've got a gist i'm just going to change this back to 1000 10000 so the problem with trading your pine script is it's just a back testing uh, it's not meant for back testing it's just 
meant for charting platform so they're not that thorough with all these things so I just give want to give you a heads up uh, so I want to just go through the uh, list of trades and I want to see if that 10% and 40% works so if you can see yeah 10% here 40% there 10% here 40% uh, there so you can always see uh, there's um, um, a 0 0.97 0 0.03 0 0.1% so those are all kind of slippages because when the market opens as a gap uh, so you can actually put settings and slippage, but it's kind of counterintuitive because uh, as you can see here, the 0.01% becomes an additional profit for you or the uh, before we saw a 9.97 becomes an additional advantage, less of a loss for you. Uh, so those kind of things are an advantage for you when it comes in a gap kind of a perspective. Another thing to add is one of the first things I do when I create a strategy is I first backtest it on SPY and QQQ. So if it works in SPY and QQQ, generally it tends to work very well in practically all the stocks. So SPY here, uh, it's got a pretty decent return, the minimalistic drawdown, QQQ as well. Um, but there'll always be stocks where it doesn't perform that well. So JP Morgan, I think, didn't perform that great. Now, all these stocks, I think we've actually gone through. I think Apple, Amazon, we've gone through. I think we've even gone through Amazon, maybe. Amazon, Netflix. Um, Intel so some of these stocks has performed tremendously well okay there we go Intel hasn't performed pretty decent that's why diversification becomes quite important uh, Netflix Google gold so basically there goes the list but make sure you diversify so you see this portfolio of stocks that I've selected so what I do essentially is I've got a basket of stocks that I really like to do the strategies and that basket is chosen uh, from what other institutional investors or other big hedge fund managers have done because they have actually uh, done solid good work in reading the financial statements and everything so I know those kind of stocks are quite stable so if you want to know the right details of the portfolio of stocks which I apply uh, this strategy to go to our channel and there's this copy hedge fund managers results section and that should explain to you how to find out these amazing stocks um, that the big hedge fund managers are into. Uh, so there are also other strategies like ADX and MACD and pullback strategy which you want to check out. So, so regarding the version 5 full tutorial that's available here, you can check that out as well. And the trading stop loss uh, is available here as well. The normal stop loss is also available here as well. So hope you enjoyed this strategy. Full code is available in the description for you guys to download. Have a great day.